66 million years ago, a pterosaur had just found a place to rest when suddenly, danger appeared. It was the ocean's apex predator, the Mosasaurus. To a small pterosaur, the Mosasaurus was nothing more than a quick snack. The Mosasaurus' favorite food was ammonites. These creatures, related to the modern Nautilus, went extinct along with the dinosaurs. The ammonites' hard shell offered strong protection, and surprisingly, they could move faster than they appeared. When threatened, they would shoot a burst of water to rapidly change direction. This move often helped them escape predators, even ones as large as the Mosasaurus. However, the Mosasaurus was an experienced hunter, and when it came to clever prey, it always had a plan. The ammonite's biggest weakness was the blind spot on its back. Once a predator sneaked up from behind, the ammonite had no chance of escaping. After catching an ammonite, the Mosasaurus didn't immediately swallow it. After all, the ammonite's hard shell would be difficult to digest. It held onto the ammonite for a while, then finally decided to let it go. What happened next was surprising. The ammonite had stored air inside its shell to help it stay afloat. Once its shell was damaged, it began to sink, making it easier for the Mosasaurus to pull it out of the shell. The Mosasaurus became the ruler of the seas, not just because of its strength, but also its intelligence. This is why the Mosasaurus was found in marine fossils all around the world, with thousands of its remains discovered globally. But how did the Mosasaurus first come into existence?